Officials in Tonga are now releasing details of the damage caused by the volcanic eruption and tsunami over the weekend. Fox's Anna Eliopoulos has the story. Saturday's devastating volcanic eruption and tsunami in Tonga killing at least three people, according to the government's first official update. Among the victims, a 50-year-old British woman who was swept away. She's beautiful. She was absolutely a ray of sunshine. The written statement released Tuesday also detailing the loss of homes, including an entire village on Mango Island. On another nearby island, only two houses remain. This comes as we're seeing some of the first images of the eruption and aftermath. Satellite photos capturing the main eruption, the massive plume of smoke could be seen from space. And these before and after images punctuating the extent of the damage. The island's shoreline now covered in ash and vegetation. The ash is proving quite problematic, um, not just for uh, water and sanitation, but in terms of access for the aid from Australia and New Zealand. Um, and other flights. Hundreds of volunteers are working to clear the runway to make way for planes bringing aid. Large ships carrying loads of much needed supplies like water, volunteers and equipment also making their way to the island. The eruption sent smoke and ash 60,000 feet into the air and triggered tsunami waves in the Pacific. 50 foot high waves rushed inland, destroying everything in their path, knocking out all access to phones and internet a concern for loved ones who are looking for answers. The worst fear is um, the suffering of other people that's hard to cope with. In New York, Anna Eliopoulos, Fox News.